Hello and welcome to another edition of Swiss Bites with me Mark and as ever the man to my left Mr Julian here. Uh, now tonight we're doing uh, something a little bit different, normally we eat some unusual foods from around the world, um, some strange delicacies uh, from uh, far flung countries but we're not doing that today, we're doing a traditional big amount eating challenge. Um, in an area of the country called Chadderston there's uh, a takeaway restaurant called um, The Three Chefs and they do something that's quite uh, famous locally um, called the Mega Kebab. Now it's a huge plate of uh, kebab meat um, in, a, in a naan and it's, uh, I don't know, it must weigh God, a stone or something, I'm not sure. We've got some scales, we're going to weigh it, so we'll find out later. Um, what else do I know about it? Oh yes, uh, the nickname that some locals have given it is the uh, the Chad Nappy because um, when uh, it comes in its uh, paper it looks like a full nappy, a full baby's nappy which is not the most uh, yeah, appetising of descriptions for the locals to give it um, but again we'll show you so you can see what it looks like um, Oh yes, uh, so the person that eats the least amount of kebab tonight we're, um, we're versus, we're not working together tonight, this is a strictly versus situation. The person that eats the least amount of kebab um, will have to do this forfeit. And uh, we've gone for a crispy creme donut, the uh, sweetest and synthetic of all donuts. Um, and we asked a lady in the crispy creme shop what's the sweetest crispy creme donut that they've got, and it, she told us this one. It's apparently the birthday donut, it's got uh, really sweet jam in the middle and uh, white chocolate, sweet white chocolate on top. So I can imagine that after we've eaten a ton of donut meat, um, eating this is going to be a real, a real struggle and we're being attacked, attacked by flies as well so that's not cool. Uh, it's half past ten at night and the takeaway still hasn't arrived um, so we're not very happy, we're ravenous, we've been at Drayton Manor theme park all day working up an appetite and the Takeaway, it's taking forever. It's uh, oh, it's um, it's making us a bit ratty to tell the truth. We just want to eat. Uh, okay, so um, oh, other things. So I'll tell you what else we've got. So we've got uh, a collection of sauces to help the uh, kebab go down easier. So we've got ketchup, uh, peri peri mayo, uh, curry Heinz curry sauce, super hot sriracha chili sauce, and some uh, salad cream. Just you know, why not? Uh, we have water, we have kitchen towel, we have plates, we've got the weighing scales to see who's eaten the most. Just arrive now, kebab, please come now. What are, what are your thoughts on the situation, Mr. Julian? I'm hungry. Yeah. I don't think if I was saying anything else, particularly. Oh, you see, he's, he's got the hunger pangs. We, we're both getting grouchy. So, um, okay, the next time you see us, the kebab will have arrived and we'll be chowing down. So, see you in a bit. Okay. So the kebab has just arrived. Um, obviously, it's got some sauces in and some salad, um, but these are these are two kebabs, two mega kebabs, um, and we want to uh, we want to see how much the whole thing weighs. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's it's very heavy. Just then, these are two kebabs together. So I'm going to put it on the scale. Let's see. I think it's broken the scale. I have it. I think the scales can take the weight. You can't, you can't do it. The uh, scales can't take the weight. It's too heavy. L LD means load, but it's too heavy. Okay. Uh, so. Alright, so, uh, so that, that proves it's pretty heavy. These are, these are average kitchen scales. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plate up now. And um, yeah, we're gonna get into this. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so yeah, I'm just plating up, but I wanted you to, you guys, to see uh, what people mean by the the Chad nappy. It does look like a full nappy, doesn't it? And this this weighs like a brick. It's as heavy as a brick. Feel that? Just trying to get too much. Oh, lovely. It's, it's like a brick. It so either me or Julian are gonna to attempt to uh, eat a brick's worth of uh, donna meat, sheesh meat, and uh, other stuff. Anyway, back in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, we finally plated up huge amount of donna meat. Uh, we've got chicken tikka and kofta in there as well, all in a, a lovely naan. 
the restaurant did get our order wrong, but uh, we requested salad, but that didn't materialise. They've sent us some sweet chilli sauce and some uh, yoghurt as well. Um, oh, I'll give you a, a close-up view of what it looks like. Oh, it's, too, it's too close. Uh, look at that. That is huge. You can see that from space, that kebab. It's like the Great Wall of China. Julian, what do you think about your your challenge? I will give it a go. Really? That's all I have to say. Okay, so ready, steady, go. Let's <laughs> do. What's it like? It's not start off with Bobby. Get bored of it, Bob. Ah. Mm. I think the donut meat tastes quite nice. Mmm. This is your chicken. The donut meat tastes nice. Look at that. Mmm. Chicken tikka. I like the donut meat, do you? Mm hmm. Yeah. I think chicken tikka is a little bit dry for me. Yep. I'm going to struggle with that. How's it going? Oh, it doesn't like you're struggling all <laughs> What? Don't whistle out. Just no, hot something. Chicken tikka is dry. Okay. It's difficult eating dry stuff when you. Do you like the kofta? That's all right. Dry. Is it? Yeah. Still there? Yeah. Where is it? On your arm. One of these good bags could be about four people. Easy. No. You reckon? Yeah. Is that easy? We can't, we can't do really badly, you know, we can't fail miserably. Uh, I mean, I can. Can't, because that will look terrible. We're bringing loads of it. We're meant to be, come on, if we do well, we'll get loads of, you know, plaudits for it. If we do badly, we just look like jokers. <laughs> I don't seem to be going down. No, it doesn't. That's the same, though. Feels like it's getting bigger. Okay, so uh, we've hit about the 15 minute mark. My coat's making noises. Um, lots of flatulence. Julian, what are, your th what are your thoughts at this stage? Struggling. Struggling, yeah? Um, what's, the, uh, what's the tastiest part of the dish, do you think? The donna. The donna meat, yeah. And the, um, your least favourite? No, no, so far, just see him out. You like it all, yeah? yeah. It's just too obvious. Yeah, I'll, I say the donna is the best part for me. I went for chicken tikka, it's very dry, it's not my cup of tea. Um, it's just, it seems like it's getting bigger. We, I've been eating it for ages now, and um, it does seem like it's getting bigger, so I'm sure that's down to my state of mind that I'm slowing down, and my body's saying, no, look at it, it's massive, you can't eat that. But um, you've got to push through these barriers and uh, carry on. Um, if you don't want to eat the Krispy Kreme donut, obviously. Um, 
a colleague of mine, a very good friend to the channel, suggested that uh, when you're eating a kebab, fizzy coke is uh, is one thing that actually helps it. And uh, you know, I was a little bit skeptical, but I'm prepared to try anything. So I'm going to have some coke now, and we're going to carry on. Um, this fizzy warm coke. Uh, cause it's very warm in here at the moment. We're going to carry on eating. Um, so we'll speak to you in a bit. <laughs> yeah. You think you can go into a coma from eating too much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to No, yeah, no, yeah. Well, I'm still just, going at it. Yeah, just don't de defeat talk already. There's a stomach. <sighs> not the appetite is gone. When you know you first eat something, oh, that's lovely, eat that. Now all of a sudden I'm prepared to the body that goes, yeah, I've lost interest. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. It's just getting bland now. More more eating. This challenge. You've got sauces to help you out. Sauces mm. are important. <sighs> try some, just try some sauces, please. <sighs> the yogurt. Lovely mint. Yeah, mint, yeah. Curry sauce, all sorts. Mm -hmm. Ketchup. That's a stupid idea. Mm. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Why? I feel bad because it's just too much. That's too big. I'm trying to do. Is it good when you put? It's like I'm. <laughs> it's like I'm making space for the. Uh... Oh, I can't believe you. I'm just coming back up. Just a bit. I got food stuck down here. That's not going back down. Still going. Both? I think I'm going to throw up or something. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if you throw up, you lose, okay? I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to see the freaking donut if it comes to it. I'm not being sick. Okay, so we're, we're on the 15, I think another, so we've done about 25 minutes. And we've definitely hit a wall. We're burping quite a lot, belching and sweating. Um, 
Just to give you a, a close up of. Uh, it's nice. Pardon close me. up of what we've achieved so far. It's, the thing is, the problem with it is. Oh, um, the. Um, it, that, it literally doesn't look like we've eaten anything. And the reason for that is the donna meat, when it, when it arrives, it's so compacted down that um, when you start unpacking it, um, it sort of just, it's, it, uh, just sort of unravels and looks bigger. So as you're eating it all the time, it just looks, um, just looks bigger and bigger. Um, so that's quite demoralizing because you think you're making progress and then it just sort of unravels a bit more of donna meat and it looks bigger again. Um, do you remember Elvis's uh, favorite sandwich? That was, that was quite tough, wasn't it? <laughs> that was nothing compared with this, was it? it wasn't. It's uh, quite ironic that the locals call it uh, the Chad nappy because I think uh, to myself and Mr. Julian here might need a nappy after eating this, uh, maybe tomorrow morning, I might be in need of a nappy. Yeah. I don't think it's the healthiest food in the world. No. Okay. Are we gonna? Are we gonna plow one. <sighs> Let's do it. Whatever. All right. <laughs> the enthusiasm has drained out of Mr. Julian. It's so we've definitely hit the wall. It's oh, it's so hard. That's what stopped. I've got a bit here, I can feel it. It's just turned from it. From it. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, so. <laughs> you know, I'm struggling now. Um, I, Mr. Julian has got an announcement that he wants to make. I quit. You quit. And I'm done anymore. Your reasons for this, uh, Mr. Julian? I was replated for sick. And that's done with it. I've got no taste of bad dinner. <laughs> Just yeah. no taste of food at all. My mouth is filled with uh, film of grease. Um, My hands are. Hands are greasy. Um, and I'm after a while, it's it just like eating cardboard. No, there's no taste. There's no taste. So um, we don't really know <coughs> who's eaten the most, but um, I was prepared to carry on eating, um, and uh, Mr. Julian has uh, thrown the towel in. So of course, that means that he has to eat the lovely, super sweet birthday Krispy Kreme uh, donut. <coughs> oh dear, it's making me cough. Um, Should I start now? Um, yeah. Well, you okay. I'm done with. I don't know how better with this. I might throw this up as well. What is it? That looks disgusting now. That does. It doesn't look very nice anymore. Okay, so um, we have we have failed today. Is uh, Swiss bites? We wanted to eat this, um, and uh, we failed. We failed, you guys. We can only apologise. We thought we were up to the challenge. People that do eating challenges, they make it look so easy on TV. <clears throat> but uh, it's just it's just really not humanly possible. I don't think if you have, don't have the stomach capacity. I don't think it's possible. No amount of peri peri mayonnaise uh, is gonna help you eat that uh, that stuff. Okay, so uh, Mr. Julian <coughs> is now gonna eat his forfeit uh, super sweet Krispy Kreme birthday donut, and he's gonna enjoy every every mouthful. <coughs> See, that doesn't. Look, I think sweet will probably sweet after all of that saltiness will probably be, be quite nice. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I can eat this. Really? That's mm. quite impressive. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's very nice too. Let's see. That's a bit cheesy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> not, very, not, not the best donut in the world. Just a grim donut. It's not nice. <laughs> 
Oh. What's the jam like in the middle? Nice. Oh, it's nice jam. It's nice not, not super sweet or anything. No, yeah, but. What? What's wrong? Not mold, is it? It's blue off the top. Some mold is blue bits on the top. Mold. Worth a try. Yeah. That's this is very, very well uh, eaten, Mr. Julian. Mm. If only we could have done that with the kebab. Is it? Maybe we needed some sort of, sort of like icing to put on the kebab or something. Maybe that would have made it easier. Well done. I mean, obviously, I haven't finished your mouth yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not very happy. Okay, so um, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do now? Obviously, I won because I was prepared to carry on, and Mr. Julian threw in the towel. But we are gonna weigh the. Each uh, each kebab to see just how who had eaten uh, the most at that time. Maybe uh, yeah, maybe Mr. Junior was in the lead. Uh, so just bear with me. Uh, okay, so uh, we're just going to weigh uh, Mr. Junior's kebab to see how much uh, he's managed to polish off in this uh, eating session. Okay, so. So it's one kilogram, 445 grams. You can see that, one kilogram, 445 grams. Okay. Um, now I'm going to get mine and see how much that weighs. Okay, so, yeah, so this, this, will, be, this will be very interesting because I actually think that Mr. Junior was in the lead possibly when it comes to eating this uh, maybe kebab. Yeah. So, so about one and a half kilograms you still had uh, left. Let's. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you. Let's see what this one is. All right, zero. Ah, oh, I had more. Oh, okay. I had more. I had one. One kilogram, 537 grams. So, but I was prepared to go on. I would have eaten to put myself to death. I did not want to eat that crispy creme donut, not at all. But uh, um, that's it. Uh, Mega kebab from uh, Chadderston, the Chad Nappy. It's a failure from Swiss Bites, but we did our best for you. Uh, final thoughts, Mr. Julian? I'm not eating my nose again. You were here. We didn't eat it in the first place. No, I loved it. We wouldn't, we wouldn't attempt it again. No. It's uh, the greasiness. I could feel it coming out of my skin already. It's very, very, very greasy. Um, oh, we'd love to challenge anybody. If you think you can eat the mega kebab from the three chefs in Chatterston, eat it, put it on YouTube, and we'll be very, very impressed by it. Uh, okay, so that's it. Uh, another edition of Swiss Bites over. If you've got any suggestions for unusual foods that you'd like us to try, Please put them in the uh, description. The comments, not the description, because that's my job. <laughs> the uh, comments section on YouTube. Um, if you like the video today, and too much kebab. Is today. that too much kebab? It's, it's got kebab coming ears. out of his ears. Um, if you like today's uh, video, uh, please give us some likes because we, we really worked hard today, and I think we might suffer tomorrow because of this awful uh, greasy kebab. And also, if you're not a subscriber to the channel already, please press the subscribe button because oh, yeah. your your support is very important to us. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot. Goodbye then. Oh.